We got some work to do on the ZR2 today, boys. Three, two, one. Factory reverse lights. These things added. Lighting, yes, more lighting going on the truck today. Specifically, some four inch LED cubes going in the rear bumper of the ZR2. And that's because uh, I can't see when I'm backing up at night. It's pretty bad. I actually have these same, well not same, similar lights in my full size LV7 Duramax. And they do wonders at night. I can see so much better. My ZR2 is a 2018, it doesn't have like the HD backup camera. You can't really see at all. I, oftentimes, and I'll show you in a clip here, when I'm backing up at night, I actually hit the gas and the brakes at the same time. That way my brake lights are illuminated and it gives me just a little more light. And this is on top of already having nice bright LED reverse light bulbs in my tail lights. They just don't cut it though. So here I'm gonna show you guys what it's like backing up with just the LED reverse light bulbs that I have in the stock tail lights. So here I am, here I are in reverse. And I know, I know this is gonna be tough for you guys to see. You see that? Like, I, I honestly like, look at this, this is without the brakes on. I mean, you can't, you can't see diddly. Like when I back up, I have to hold the brake and hit the gas so I can see anything at all. Otherwise, break off. You just you just can't see. Like it's no good. Absolutely. And not that you'd be able to tell, but you can look out back, and it's pitch dark. Can't see a thing. We're gonna throw these in there, and hopefully, I'll be able to see at night. see what I mean I mean you can't see all right there's a light on up there and whatever but and this camera does a pretty good job with dark lighting uh, but anyway trust me you can't see when you're backing this thing up but it's gonna be fixed come with these nice little templates these things the lights not just the cardboard template uh, they'll be linked in the description hopefully they work pretty well stand by I think what I want is the light to be level with the top of this, rather than lower. Yeah, I like that. Tape doesn't stick when you use a cleaner that has wax in it. I like that spot. I think that'll work out pretty well. Let me match the other side and take a look at it from afar and make sure it doesn't look weird or off or whatever. This is not sticking. Maybe this is like the world's worst tape. Clean release. Yeah, sure. It is pretty clean release because it doesn't ever stick. Maybe this will stick better. Maybe. Mind that tape job. I know it's absolutely terrible and it's still not sticking very well, but pretty, uh, I mean, it looks even, even though one's blue and one's white, yellow, whatever. Anyway, I think I like that. I think I like that, those locations. So, uh, let's cut some holes in a almost brand new truck, 7,000 miles on it. So now that I have these positioned where I want them, I'm just going to take 
my center punch and mark all four holes on one side. I'm just gonna do one side and then I'll do the other side. And also, I check uh, behind the bumper, there's nothing back here that I'm gonna mess up or nothing that the light's gonna interfere with. Okay. I don't know what size I need. I grabbed a 15 64th, it seems to be about the right size. I, I don't need a pilot hole because this is already pretty small. There are my four holes drilled out. Now I have to figure out how exactly I'm going to cut around this. Because I have, I have tools that'll do it, but I don't have, the tools that I have are a little big. We'll see how this works out. I'm just drawing out the corners. That should work pretty well. I'll just do that in all four corners and then we'll play uh, connect the dots with the saws all. That should work out pretty well. You know, I get these safety glasses because there's like shards flying. I want to protect my eyes and then look at them. I can't even see, they're all fogged up now. How safe can this be? Four corners are done. Pretty close, pretty decent. That should work out well. I just basically gotta just draw a square around them. I know it's easier said than done. So uh, let me just do it, see what happens. Brand new metal cutting blade. See what the old Ryobi can do. Ah, it doesn't fit, that's what I was worried about. Need a bigger drill bit, and I don't know that I have it. New plan, new plan. Since my whole saw is for wood, and not metal. There's some thin metal.
All right, boys, both lights are in. Fully bolted, all tightened down. They look, they look even. They look even, right? I mean, I sort of measured. Pretty happy with how they look. Now, I did nick on both sides. I don't even know if it'll show up on camera. Using the saws all blade is, is not ideal because a couple of times the saws all blade jumped out and then it nicked the bumper there. Did the same thing on this side. Not really noticeable. Um, well, not from afar. I'll take a Sharpie to it and clean it up. That kind of sucks. But that's really all I had. I could have used a cutoff wheel, but that's a pretty small hole for a cutoff wheel. So now it's time to get these things wired up. I think what I'm going to do is take them both up to the driver's side and go into the driver's side taillight and hook it up to the reverse bulb. I believe that's what I'm going to do. I thought about putting it into the trailer harness, but I think this will be easier and cleaner. Now eventually what I'd like to do, if and when I add more lights to this truck, I'm going to get a controller, some type of controller that goes inside, and then I'll have these hooked up that way so I can turn them on with a button, turn them off, you know, if I'm off-roading or whatever, driving on the street and somebody's riding my butt, I can turn them on real quick. Also, further news. If you can see these actually have three wires these are um, these lights you can use them as strobe lights I mean I have no intention of doing that so the yellow slash orange wire you hook that up and it strobes which I'm just gonna disregard that and hook up the red wire so it just turns on freaking bugs the LED pods are obviously LED so they shouldn't draw much power. I think they'll be fine just running off of just the one reverse light over here. If I have problems, I'll figure out something else. And you can see here, here is the uh, LED reverse bulb that I already installed. It even has a little projector on the end. Plus they go around there. They, they are bright. Like, no doubt, but they're just not bright enough. So let me knock out this wiring real quick, and then I'll see you guys when I come back, test these things out. All right, everything's all wired and together. I got everything underneath heat shrunk, zip tied, uh, electrical tape where needed. That's all done. And here is where I connected the, ah, it's still hot from heat shrink. Here's where I connected the power. It is the yellow wire. There's three wires coming into the reverse. Um, you got a yellow positive. I assume these are both ground because this ground is feeding to this ground is my assumption. But I tested it first and the yellow is the hot wire. So now that that's done, Let's put the tail light back in. And in addition, I ran the wire the exact same way down inside here, the same way that I ran the, the bed light wiring. I know it's gonna be hard to see, but there's a little hole down in there. It goes right along with that. Gentlemen, are we ready? 
They're wired up, they're fully bolted down, they're secured, everything's good to go. All the wires are tidied up underneath. It's gonna be time to test it out here in a second, but first, looks pretty freaking good, right? All right, under we go. Here you can see the, I mean, it's pretty, pretty close to the uh, factory license plate wiring, but there is room. So, got the four bolts open there. So let me explain the wiring here. This goes up and then follows along. These are the uh, LED bed lights here. So I just zip tied it all to that and it follows along as we come over here, just like that. And then we come down and here they're tied together, they connect. You have the pink wire going up, that's the power, and then you have this other pink is where they're tied together and they're grounded. I just grounded it right to itself. And then the pink wire runs up, zip tied right there, and then up to the tail light, like I showed you guys. Pretty simple, pretty clean. I'm not the best wirer out there, but it's pretty clean under here. Doesn't look all mumbo jumboed up. There are the lights themselves. Happy with how they look. So without further delay, let's test these boys out. And because I hooked them up to the factory reverse lights, they'll turn on with the key. Three, two, one. Bam. There they are, boys. Wired up and looking fresh. I guess, uh, I guess I should probably turn the lights off and see how they look. Nice and white. Oh, hold on, hold on. Back on, back on. Very nice, I'm super happy with that. They are, I didn't mention, these are like a, I think they called them a flood. I guess they're a flood beam. I don't know, I'll show you guys. You can kind of see on the toolbox. So here's, you can kind of see that line there. Let me cover this one up. That's what, it, let me, actually I can cover them both. Up. Factory reverse lights, these things added. But obviously I gotta go outside and test it and see how it works with the backup camera and all that. Let's go do that. Let's see how they look outside. Spot that blazer shift knob, huh? You guys who watch the channel know. Let's just go out here, go out to the end of my driveway, like the test I did before. Here, my driveway is semi long and not really that straight. Reverse. Oh my goodness, you see that? Oh, that's gonna be tough to see on camera. See that line? That's actually where they're shining. You can see these little dots here. That's just like, I don't know, some extra from the lights. But that white beam right there is in fact the new LEDs. Huge difference. Oh my goodness. That is so much better. I can, see, and that's actually a really good spot. It's not too close and not too far away. Oh, I can actually see at night. Oh, I'm freaking pumped about that. Let me, uh, let me show you from that side, I guess. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They are bright. So you can kind of see where they're aimed. About right there. They cover one up cover them both up actually so that was before there's essentially no light and that's now Very, very happy with this mod. Look at that beam pattern. Look how bright that is over here. Let me lock it. So that's off. I mean, look at how dark it is. Ready? On. Huge difference. Absolute huge difference. I'm real happy with this mod, guys. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I just never got around to it. Did it on my big truck years ago. Um, a little bit of a different LED on the big truck. They were more of a spot beam. 
for reference, let me show you the ones on my big truck. They help out a ton. Plus, the big truck also has the reverse lights in the tow mirrors, which that helps too. Which, yeah, you got you got those there, which help a ton. There's just the regular reverse bulbs. Nothing special. They're still halogen. I need to get LEDs in them. And there are the LED pods in the back of the big truck. They fit in there real nice. They work real nice. Love them. Need them in the little one. These are more of a, a flood. Both seem to work exceptionally well. So link to those are in the description as well as the link to, you know, my headlights and my Raptor lights, all the other LEDs that I've installed on the truck. So thanks for watching, guys. One more time. Oh, yeah. Come back for more. There will be more videos on the ZR2, the E36, and the LB7. See you next time.